Hey guys and welcome back. I oh my god, I shit myself there because I thought I wasn't recording, but we're back. <laughs> we've got oh, we've got a doozy for you. We uh -huh. are playing AB plus, and Arimbas broke it. Mm -mm, I didn't break it. Well, I, it. well, it, it kind of a little bit accidentally though. We're doing the we got the, the AB plus Omnite um, hell server that's running, and. Because reasons, Factorio devs have decided that the mod settings.json file should not be in the mod folder, so uh, it is global. It's shared between different directories. So Cedar and I both have like multiple mod folders to launch our packs with, right? Yes. And so I loaded up our save today, and it migrated a bunch of stuff out because the mod settings.json was different in the server and in this one. And then Angel needs to learn how to migrate code. Because it we <laughs> anyway where where is the problem? Let's like show, like what is the issue? It's easier um, I think to explain. To the, yeah, the chunks, the sapphire chunk. I blame Angel mostly. The Ruby eight chunk, sorry. But also like Clonin and Twinson and Kovrax and like you know those guys. It's just a little bit, just a little bit, because they didn't you know put the mod settings. If they just put the mod settings that JSON in the mod directory, it would make more sense. Anyway, what's up? It's wrong now so, apparently. So we were. Getting a load of nitric wastewater. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. But so now it makes sulfuric something. Uh, and of course, what's it used for can't find nitric. You've got to search for waste for reasons. Uh, and if we search for waste, it's not used in anything. Because Angel's migration code doesn't actually migrate the requirements back in when you have it turned off and then turn it back on again. Um, so we got all this nitric wastewater that does nothing. Yep. So... Well, you know the easiest way to do it. Eat ya. Aha. Uh -huh. Aww. <laughs> I know what you're gonna do. I gotta figure it figured out. We gotta, we gotta take advantage of this feature before it's taken away. Wow. That's, that's ridiculous. Did you not notice I was doing that to you last time? No. I kept doing it to you while you were, <laughs> while you were trying to run around with stuff. I thought it was fun. So yeah, anyway, so what do we get now as a byproduct instead? Sulfuric waste? Oh, see, that's actually kind of convenient, but... Come Not on. really, considering we've got a lot of it now. Come on, with the migration code, though. <clears throat> we have, like, a ridiculous fucking amount of sulfuric your, waste uh, water now. Your mic's cutting out. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is it an internet good. speed issue, or is it a... Are you getting a... You have, like, a noise gate on Skype or something? Nope, no noise gate on Skype. I don't like that these <clears throat> these crafting combinators have the logistics thing on them, even though they don't have actual provider chests for the modules. Yeah, I had to... Wait, they, they're not even set for a pro provider chest? No. No, the but... regular, regular. Weird. No, but when they changed the recipe the first time, they... They probably did create a invisible provider chest for the modules that don't exist, which is sort of dumb, but yeah, you're like every couple seconds I'm, I'm getting a little pulse like you're dropping. How's your, is your, are That's you odd. still downloading? No, my, my connection's you're, fine. You're still downloading the porn, aren't you? Uh, you're supposed to get that done before we start, Ski Joe. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or maybe it's a, a new Windows 10 update that you're downloading. Don't even. I will. Oh, did you get any of my, um, my big tank thingies? Just, yeah, I did. Oh, do you need them? Yeah. I got four. I'm gonna shove in a little bit of storage here. Do you have any of the old ones? Give them to me, I'll throw them down there. I'm on my way back down that way anyway. Oh, uh, you should. You should have the, the old crappy ones. Okay. I think, uh, your nanobots stole them all. Nice. My nanobots are smart. Right, so we're playing on not.15.12, <laughs> even though there's not.15.13 because they disabled the ability to right click on stuff. Which is not good. But if you that's want a, to disable that's a proper uh, fuck up that one. If you want to disable handy hands, you gotta like right click on something it's trying to craft. Or you could just yeah, press yeah. the J key a bunch of times until the default crafting stack size is like zero. What was the reason like we had a reason that we weren't using handy hands? I don't remember. I always I wanted it, and then I added it back onto the server the other day, and now I don't want to play with that again because I it's just I I think we got rid of it because we wanted to try to automate stuff, but at the same time I end up just doing the same thing anyway. Like if I'm near the automated area, I'll pick things up. 
But if not, I'm usually too lazy to walk over there. And I end up crafting belt and underground belt and just like stuff that I shouldn't have to check like to craft. Anyway. Anyway. Anyways. We make so much sulfuric waste water, it is not even funny. And I don't know the best way to get rid of this shit. Worst case scenario, because of the just sheer volume of resources we have, just void it. I mean, that does seem like a bad idea, but why does these stupid controls get reset every week? Why are some of the loaders just 100% fucked today? Probably because of the quantum loader problem. All of my keybinds got reset again. I'm gonna murder someone today. Probably you. <laughs> Yay! I hope that no other loaders got broke because of that nonsense. That would be annoying. You know what else is annoying? Is your your audio clipping out every couple of seconds. That is that is annoying. I don't do know why it, it's doing that. I mean, there is one variable. Uh, What's that? Could, do you think it could be the fact that I've still got the headless server running? Would that be overloading my network Poss connections or something? Possibly. I mean, my checking on Skype, my call quality thing is saying it's fine. Same but, here. I mean, fucking Skype. My, my end hasn't really changed. The internet should be very, very capable of handling the speed. Yeah, I've got no idea. Now what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the control alt R, which is wrong. It should be insert pad zero. <laughs> I thought that was default. It is in the next oh, version it's, of Picker. It's not actually. Really? Next little lied to mm -hmm. us? How he did. He did lie. Um it's not zero, it is uh period or the delete key. That's wrong. Yeah, I know. No, Especially just... considering it mines doesn't work because I spilled whiskey on it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What, what do you expect? It's me. Um, up down left, right, and zero. Try and collect, craft the selected entity. It's really annoying having to remember all this shit. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand why it changes. Yeah, if a mod isn't there, then the option should just get commented out. And then if it's updated, it shouldn't. It should, there should be checks for it, is what I'm saying. And that annoys me that there's not. Alright, so we updated Helmod though. That's kind of nice. And I don't really know what's different about it, but maybe, maybe it uh, will give us better features or something, possibly. Or just a single localization change. Such a negative Nancy. Yep. I want to be able to change Flotation Cell Mark 2s and say, I have 69 flotation cell mark 2s. Update the rest of the stuff. I won't be able to change anything in this and update it. In in what? What are you trying to update? I don't understand that. mod. Like, I want to be able to go into a production block. Like, if you look at, say, the second production yeah. line. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to go into the block, hit edit this block, click on flotation cells and say, I want to have 32 flotation cells. How much will that give me? Okay, done. Click refresh. I just changed it. There's a checkbox, computing by factory, factory number 32, update. Done. Why did you tell me you couldn't do that? I told you that sometimes with weird entities like angels, seafloor plumps, and stuff, 
when you click the computing by factory button, it hard crashes Factorio because apparently it it the Factorio <laughs> okay. number sorry the fact the factory number will default to zero because of reasons, and uh, oh. it, do, it doesn't like when you have computing by factory at zero on some entities. I don't know why. I, I really don't understand why it doesn't default to one. It seems pretty logical oh, to me. This is, this is really that probably a really easy fix. Yeah, but it just seems like if you're gonna compute by factory, you should probably start at one. It seems like a good place yeah. to start. You might want to have one. All right. Okay. So yeah, well, that that part is maybe, uh, actually easy to do, and you're just a well, thank you. Maybe I'll like Helmod a bit more then. Have you spoke about the quantum loaders? Yeah. No, no, I don't. I don't think we should. We should do that. I, I think that the less we talk about it, the better it'll be. We should just <laughs> not, not let not, it become a thing. Just not tell people about quantum loaders. I mean, do you really want people doing that? I don't. I, don't I love loaders. Even when they're the most broken thing in the game. You're the most broken thing in the game. I know. Aren't I great? Why? Why did you route all the multi-phase oil right through the bus? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> this is I a horrible place would, for it. I just said I would get it to you. Mm hmm. Didn't okay, say pretty. do it in any kind of logical way, did you? Nope. I didn't promise none. Ah. Uh. I do think that Handy Hands makes a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's just constant. Uh, I'll lower the stack size a little bit. Maybe it'll stop spamming me so much. I can see I can see where you had issues though. Finding a path to actually get this stuff through is kind of a pain. I swear, like, doing corners would just be easier doing them regularly than try to use the picker thing. I'm trying, Nexla. I'm fucking trying. Oh, I see here. You've, you've gone and used steel pipes in some places, even, to make this as, as uh, funky looking as you can, huh? By the way, your audio you seems to... to have resolved. I don't know what you... if anything's oh, changed, but now you sound fine again. No idea, man. No fucking clue. Yeah, um... You can stop now. I seem to recall the last time we were recording, you ha you were pushing for me to work on something, and I kept getting distracted by other th things I had to do, and now I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, you were dealing with the sulfuric acid. Oh right. The sulfuric wastewater. I think I. Because I'd, you said it would need a lot of sulfuric wastewater. I think I, we dealt with that though. Uh, a lot of sulfuric acid, sorry. And now we have tons and tons of sulfuric wastewater processing. We've oh, got do we? I think we've got vats, just massive. How much is tons? Because we're making a fuck ton of it. We've got vast tracts of land. <laughs> no, we've got uh, we got two hundred thousand sulfuric acid in these tanks right here. Is that a lot? I was just because I'm just about to work on some slag processing. It seems like a fair bit. All right, well, we'll work on slag processing. I'll see. Okay. How that goes. You know we could. We could push for uh, some flying robots. Get, get that auto trash and. Uh, well, you were working on getting blue signs sorted, were you not? You just said you wanted to do the sulfuric stuff. I thought you said it was done. Well, the sulfuric stuff is halfway done. Next thing to do with the sulfuric is the actual slag processing. Oh well, I can do that. All right. I'll I'll go work on military science packs first because they were halfway done. I remember I started that process, couldn't find coal because there wasn't any coal, and then I had to set up a new coal mine, and and I think I got distracted by something else. So we need. Coal. <laughs> I like your coal mine. It's very coal miney. 
It's got guns. Do you like that? I actually it does, put, it does have guns. I put some guns on it. A lot of guns with a lot of ammo. Yeah, it's a lot of ammo for each turret, isn't it? Oops. Uh, right. How easy is it to turn sulfuric wastewater into sulfuric acid? I think I have a setup down there. Your petrogram. Um... We should get a is radar there a down there, there, by the way. It's, uh, you take... Sulfuric wastewater goes through a water purification plant, the, the hydro refining. Hydro plant. Called hydro plant. And that gives you sulfur, a uh, physical entity, and then you mix that with uh, uh, oxygen to make sulfur dioxide, and then you mix that with water to make sulfuric, dioc uh, sulfuric acid. You're standing well, right next ass. to it. Yeah. Wait, is there a radar down here? No. Well, now now there is. Or now I can see there that area of the map because of you, but I was just looking at it through the map view and I couldn't see. It should be I'll radar. radar then. Okay. Uh, coal to the bus. Then I can do science. Yeah, screw that. I was thinking if there was a... I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a good way... Like, if it's easy enough, I could just do some processing up there, but... Nope. There's trees everywhere. Indeed. Kill them all. We have too many resources on this map. I don't know how I feel about that. Having too much available is... I don't know. Like, I was playing with cars and trains and stuff earlier, but it's really not necessary, and that just kind of makes the whole thing feel cheaper. That makes me feel sad. Yeah. I remember, what, what campaign was it? I think it was the like actual first Factorio campaign we did, where we we did end up actually having a, a fairly cool, decently sized train network, and you had done some of the, the oil uh, stuff to, like, make the trains decide where to go based on circuits. And that was cool. Yeah, that was real cool. But now... No one have any of that. We can't have any of that because, well, there's no fucking need. I mean, that was one of the reasons we turned off infinite ores. Yeah. We've become jaded in our old age, did you? Sad face. Um, right. The slag. You slag? Slag processing. We've only got slag processing one, which is humorous. Is that we we can't get two? We need blue signs. Yeah, we need blue signs. I'm doing military science packs right now, not the other one. Okay, so I get. <clears throat> Wait, why, why am I doing it over here? The science is still the bootstrap one. We don't even have a proper science area. It's like on the other side well, of the base. Well, I was I was thinking, you know, where your bootstrap steel used to be. <laughs> Did you make bootstrap Actually, science no, that's the not... whole freaking game? Is that the plan? I guess so. Oh, why don't you just why don't you just shove why don't you just do a quick science? I mean, red and green is very easy to. I guess I could. And then have like a proper big science setup. I'm guessing that you use the uh, the passing thing where you pass between science labs. I've I've yeah the plinko machine or the uh, what, what <laughs> yeah. people people call it also the. Uh... Uh, fire brigade, you know, where they pass the water buckets. Oh my god, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't like it. Not a fan. 
I like it. So grenades, coal and iron. We got that now. Apparently I kind of set some of this up here ish near the bullets, but it needs to be bigger. We have to call it an episode. I no, I, I no. I find that very hard yes. to believe. Yeah, we do. Okay, fine. All right, I guess so. If it's about that time, then fine. Yes. This one was you, if I'm not mistaken, so. Yep. So, as always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you a bit.